We're all guilty of something. It is bothering someone when they're doing a pre-flight. We're all guilty of it. I just, I just finished doing a pre-flight. I was putting oil in when Lindsay came in and she didn't say anything and I didn't say anything and I was finishing up what I was doing. And all of a sudden she goes, well, you're kind of quiet today. And I go, well, it's because I'm pre-flighting and you want to try to stay focused. And in that moment, I thought, well, there's a video we should do real quick. We're doing flying videos every day. And it takes me back to the last EMS base I worked at. The mechanic had an actual sign that he made up that he brought out and put the entrance to the hangar so that anybody comes in from the FBO, the, the sign said, mechanic is performing maintenance. Please don't speak to him right now. Come back later or something along that lines. And applying that to pre-flighting, we're guilty here. We normally have R22 here as well. And we have a student coming and going, sometimes two, but we work one-on-one -on -one with people. But even with that, we have Lindsay, we have Heather, sometimes we have other instructors here helping me. And it's very easy that somebody's in the middle of a pre-flight and somebody starts talking to them. And the problem with that is when you're in the middle of doing things, you're checking the oil, you're whatever, whatever part of the pre-flight you're doing, it's very easy for someone to go, hey, what about that fish fry Friday night? Oh, yeah. And they walk away and leave something, you know, half done, half fast. And oh, yeah. And then they're over here talking. And then somebody else comes in. And then the person goes back to pre-flighting again. And that causes bad things to happen when people get distracted during a pre-flight. So this is basic private pilot 101 that we were, you know, should have been trained in the beginning. When someone's pre-flighting, leave them alone. Don't talk to them unless it's absolutely necessary. Leave them alone. Let them finish their pre-flight. And this I've seen throughout my entire career, whether I've done it, somebody distracted me, I've distracted somebody else, or I've seen other pilots distract the person that's pre-flighting. It's just not a good, it's just not a good idea. It's really a good idea for mechanics, pilots, anybody's doing anything with the aircraft. It's really best to just leave them alone. You can wait and talk about Friday's fish dinner when they get done pre-flighting. And again, there's a long list of bad things that can happen when you forget things. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel. We're like 49,259 as this morning. My goal for many years, 14 years of it on YouTube. My goal has been to hit 50,000 subscribers. After that, I don't care. Once I hit 50,000, I'm never gonna say like and subscribe again, never. I promise, I'm never gonna say it again. Help us get to 50,000 just because in 14 years, that's just kind of been the goal, like hitting that 50,000. So help us get there. And we're putting out videos daily right now uh, covering 30 things we've seen over 30 check rides over the last 30 months. So if you subscribe and click the bell, you'll be notified of those other videos coming out. And we'll also throw a link down below for askhogs.com. Have you heard about our clone? It's AI, but it's not just generic AI pulled from the in internet. It's 14 years of my content. So it's different than talking to chat GPT because you're gonna get stories and insights and things that I've seen along the way and things that we use in our training. So I'll put that down below at askhogs.com. And uh, we'll put a link for helicopterground.com. We are Helicopter Line Ground School. We have private commercial instrument CFI courses monthly options, yearly options. We have a big pro pilot uh, option as well. So we'll put a link down below for that. So see you next video. Peace out. When you feel the pressure to fly, but know the right decision is to stay on the ground, hit the hogs, no go, and live to fly another day. Helicopterground.com.